Hello, my name's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about a trust that was established way back in 1909, and that is the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust. So I was actually having a look at the Barclays website and looking at the trusts that are most popular this week. So this is updated on a weekly basis. And at the moment, the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust is the most popular trust being bought at the moment. And it's one that I have personally had um, in my investment portfolio for just over a year now. I first of all bought a really small amount of the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust. And I bought this in my Trading212 account. Uh, this is currently sitting at just up over 49% in around about a year. And what I decided to do was then go on to buy a little bit more of this trust in my ISAs as well. So I have an investment ISA with Fidelity and then I have one for previous financial years with Barclays as well. So I have been holding a few thousand pounds of the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust in those ISAs as well. And I'm so, so pleased with the performance. I really like this trust. It's managed by Bailey Gifford, who um, manage a lot of the funds that I really like. And I just wanted to talk you through it in a little bit more detail in case it was something you were interested in investing in too. So as I said, it was established way back in 1909 and it's a nice global world trust to have on your books. So its closest fund comparative index is the FTSE All World um, and its performance has been really, really good in the last few years, which is what kind of got me interested in buying it. Now, obviously past performance can never be indicative of future performance. So looking at the returns for the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust, um, if we're looking at three year annualized returns, they are coming in at 34.99% annualized returns for three years compared to the peer group index of 25.35%. Five-year annualized returns are even better, so up at 36.40% with a peer group index of 23.50%. And as I said, I've held this in my trading 2 and 2 account for just over a year, I think, and it is currently up 49% since I've held it in there. And I also have it in my Barclays ISA and then in my Fidelity ISA as well. If you want to subscribe to this channel and see what else I'm holding in my ISAs, then please do and check out all the other videos that I have as well. So the next thing that's important to get into is the fees. And I do think they are quite low for this investment trust. So as I said, I'm invested in this investment trust in Fidelity as well. And the fees, the ongoing charges are 0.34%. So it's also a really nice, diverse trust to add to your portfolio so if you're interested in being invested in the world as a whole rather than specific regions this could be one that's worth considering so the united states make up 45.74 percent of this trust asia and merging make up 24.24 percent eurozone 22.87 percent latin america 2.4 percent europe 2.1 canada 1.45 and the uk just a tiny 1.19 percent of this portfolio and then looking at its top 10 holdings, which I like to have a look at because I do sometimes hold some of these shares individually as well. Um, so its top 10 holdings are, number one is 10 cent holdings, then Illumina Inc., then ASML Holdings, Amazon, Moderna, Tesla coming in at number six, seven is Alibaba, eight, Mituan, nine, Delivery Hero SE, and 10 NEO. Um, so a really good diverse range of shares there in its top 10 across different countries and then also sectors, which is really good to see. And then if you're specifically interested in risk when it comes to this fund, if you're looking at the scale from one being the least risky all the way up to seven being the most risky, this is at a risk level of five. So on the higher end of risk, but obviously not the highest risk. So when we're looking at this risk scale, one being the least risky is potentially looking at the kind of lower levels of return, seven being the most risky with potentially the higher level of return. You obviously don't know that if you go with a super risky fund or trust that you're gonna get huge amounts of return, but that is kind of how it is weighted and scaled. So they do say that the risk indicator assumes that you keep the product for a minimum 
of five years and that the actual risk can vary significantly if you cash in an early at an earlier stage then you may get back less money um so yeah a risk level of five is on that higher end of risk um but as i said not the most risky level that you can get so you have to obviously consider what risk level you're comfortable with because this might be slightly too risky for you potentially so looking at this trust availability, what's really good about it is that I do see that it is available on Trading212 and also on Free Trade as well. And I think often a lot of people are using Trading212 and Free Trade to buy their different trusts, shares, stocks, funds. So both um, Trading212 and Free Trade do have the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust available on there, which is great. As I said, I hold it currently in Trading212 and I also hold it in my Barclays Smart Investor ISA and also my Fidelity ISA as well, but I do think it is probably available in lots of different platforms. So I think it is available on Hargreaves Lansdowne as well and many, many different platforms. So it's very widely available, which is a real positive because um, it's a shame to obviously want to invest in something and then not be able to get it on the platform that you have. Yes, it's a really, really popular trust at the moment and one that I'm personally invested in. I am not a financial advisor. I'm very much a DIY investor, doing it for myself, learning as I go um, and doing the research that I want to do and trying to understand the market as best I can. However, how you want to invest might be very, very different and the kind of things you feel comfortable investing in and that you want to invest in might be very different. You also might have very different risk levels than me um, and want to stick with kind of lower risk or potentially you've got much higher risk and want to buy lots of different individual stocks and shares rather than investing in trusts and funds and ETFs which is what I do the majority of so when you do think about investing please do your own research and make sure that you're confident and comfortable investing in what you want to invest in um, but for me the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust is something that I wanted to be invested in and have been invested in for just over a year now in different platforms and I've been really really pleased with the performance and I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes over the coming years so for me this is a long-term investment and I will be holding on to it um, so if you like this kind of video then please do subscribe to this channel I have just reached over 500 subscribers which I am ridiculously happy about um, so thank you very, very much to anyone who has subscribed and I hope you have a really lovely day. Bye bye.